Well, hello again. Today, uh, it wasn't an idea to make a video, but this is a good chance to show something that came up uh, accidentally. Um, I have here two hard drives. Uh, both are Western Digital Black uh, 500 gigabytes. Uh, and it's, they are good drives, both are healthy, but there is a problem that I discovered accidentally when I removed it from my computer. Uh, I wanted to put them in storage uh, as a storage in a USB uh, rack and it was uh, much faster to remove files and uh, format drive. Uh, when it's directly on SATA, actually SATA uh, connection. So, and I accidentally saw something. I'm going to show you. You see this, this stuff here, how nasty it looks. That's oxidation uh, with uh, heating and heating made this oxidation drives heat and you should probably uh, always put some kind of a fan around them uh, this one is less but there are some parts that need to be cleaned so there's a few ways how to do it i'm going to show you one way that i am doing that first you take this kind of screwdriver and remove the electronic PCB. And watch out to not to lose screws because if you lose screws you have to find same kind. And if you didn't remove this for a long time actually on this drive never will be a little bit sticky and of course we'll remove this and of course on the other side see wow nasty right and sometimes this nasty stuff if you uh, polish this and uh, remove this nasty stuff sometimes hard drive can work and mostly not but it can work so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this my my fancy fancy paste. It's polishing paste for the metal. Uh, because if you scratch some tracks here, well drive won't working won't be working again. So see how nasty this this is. You can scratch with a screwdriver. It can do the trick, but you must be very, very careful how to do it. You know? And I'm not going to... Ooh, watch this. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Nasty piece of shit. So, I'm going to polish both sides. Especially this ground. This is ground connection to a hard drive. So, how I'm going to do it? I'm going to take this cotton stick, put some paste, polishing paste. It would be very good if you can find some other polishing paste. Okay, now I'm going to do like this. That you can see. Okay. See how it polishes contacts. If you don't do that, this polishing work, it might come to disk failure because 
if some if there is not good contact it can create more heat as a resistance ohm's law uh, so you know the resistance is producing a heat so the hard drive will probably try to force more electricity and create more heat and else 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 so it can damage your disk permanently and to impossible to restore recover or repair so see see how it looks now and the other side is still greasy so I'm going to take other side of the stick and try to get in focus of course you must clean this with alcohol you can use petroleum or something like that Zippo fluid is fine. So, this is one way to maintain your drives. <clears throat> of course, I'm going to talk about little, little about drives and disks and to make you understand what's going on on disks and drives okay now you see how filthy this is and you see now the PCB is polished and it's cleaned and not scratched and now important thing is to take this and of course some zippo fluid which is better better option better solution and remove this paste everywhere you went with the stick see the stick dirty because the stick don't just pick up the paste you used it picks up the dirt that was left on the board is there any other no and the other side of course on the other side This side is easier, you can use a cloth, but because there are no uh, other stuff no, that can attach a cloth, that's it. And that's how you maintain your drive and this phone is just as a uh, the whole distance you know as a, we call distancer but whatever you call that and of course you put it all back This drive was all right, it was perfect health, but if I didn't do this thing right now, this drive could 
easily die or be a damaged one. And that's correct way how to make your drive in good health. Of course, there's uh, one thing I want to talk a little bit about drives. Uh, I'm going to leave it because I have to do another one later after this video. And uh, drives <coughs> have discs. Uh, it looks like a CD. I'm going to, going to use a CD as I'm going to use CD just to show. Okay. Now, same thing, similar uh, metal disc is inside and it's magnetic. And of course, uh, if you want uh, to your drive uh, remain healthy, you always must have uh, more free space than occupied space. Why? Uh, if it's possible, you have to keep, it's good to have uh, another drive, empty one, that you can uh, remove all data from one drive to another and then full format this hard drive. Why? Because if you use a quick format, uh, the quick format will uh, erase only one track sector whatever uh, I'm not going to confuse you with uh, sectors and tracks and whatever how it works and you can find it, find that it's for another video you can find that on YouTube there are so many videos about that but if you uh, format quick format use a quick format yeah you don't waste your time it's easy but it's not good why because if you use quick format, that format, okay, just as an ex example, <coughs> that formal format will erase only this part, not whole drive. And the drive is magnetic. And this, not this actually, what is inside. I don't have it right with me. Um, I don't know where I put them. I have a lot of them. I disassembled a lot of drives and I like to collect <laughs> these discs, but metal discs, but all, all those metal discs are magnetic. And uh, what magnets like to do is uh, uh, to resurface it, actually to uh, demagnetize and magnetize it again. And why is that good? Because if you don't move files, and that file is, is uh, written for a long, long time, it will start to lose that magnetic, um, uh, I don't know how to say, uh, affinity to, uh, to uh, be a mag mag magnet. So, uh, and that's how you get bad sectors. And uh, you never know uh, when this is going to break down <laughs> and when those sectors, bad sectors, are going to want to show, going to show. But uh, if you uh, do as I tell you, believe me, just a knock on the wood, uh, every disc I maintain like that. Every six months or a year at least, uh, you have to remove all data from this hard drive to another hard drive on free storage space and format full format, use a full format for the hard drive. And that's uh, the basics uh, of the hard drive maintaining, of course. As I showed you, you always check if there is a color change on the, this, con this surface, especially for the surface that needs a ground, to use a ground, this is a ground of course, and sometimes uh, PCB is uh, made that uh, it doesn't have, uh, uh, ground is connected over the case, so if you remove this screw, 
you might not have a ground on full electronics. That's uh, some sometimes electronics is done like that, but I don't think it's case here. But just to have in mind, sometimes uh, in electronics uh, ground uh, or minus ground is you uh, sometimes it can uh, be uh, shorted that way, uh, jumped or whatever. So instead of creating a big path or big wire, thick wire, because ground uh, as uh, ground have to be as larger as possible, believe me or not. That's why you have always ground, big ground surfaces everywhere in electronics. And Faraday's cage is basically uh, same way how to maintain uh, some uh, uh, signals without interfering from other signals in the, in the air. So I'm not going to talk about uh, Faraday's cage, but I'm going to talk, talk a little bit more about this. So when you uh, form a full format of hard drive, it will erase everything, so it will resurface this drive. Sometimes it's, it's good to uh, do it twice, three times. And that's how uh, we used to repair some floppy disks on Amiga, Amiga 500. And uh, I have a lot of experience uh, from eight, 1980s uh, with Sinclair ZX Spectrum and then Commodore 64 and that was, there was Amiga 500 and really I mastered it, mastered it, those uh, computers in electronics of course and hardware and programming software of course. And I was a little kid back then but I was very progressive in that case, in that matter. So uh, that's how I know the basics, how this drive works and how this drive thinks. Of course, the floppy drive also have a disk like this inside. Of course, of course, it's magnetic, but it looks like a tape. Uh, uh, if you saw a tape from, from uh, VHS tapes or uh, audio tapes, like it was back then, uh, same material, but stiffer and harder, was used uh, to create the floppy. Say floppy because it's floppy, but uh, <coughs> it's a little harder one to maintain surface flat. So it's, it was also magnetic, and when it lose magnet, uh, mag it's, it cannot be magnetized. It lose affinity to be magnetized. And that's how you have a bad sectors and bad tracks and, and that thing. So, same thing, this hard drive works. Uh, uh, this hard drive have reserved space for... Uh, it, it used to be earlier days of FAT, which, which was a file allocation table. And that's uh, all information about uh, uh, files where are they stored and uh, where, what sectors and what tracks uh, hard drive have to read to read that whole file. So, uh, if you open a book and you turn it all the way to back and you have, oh, oh, of course, this is on page 191 and this is on page 231, 235. Okay, the same thing, thing uh, like this FAT file location table was doing. And that was uh, not all time, now it's NTFS and... But basically, uh, same thing. And of course, if you erase only that, everything else will be untouched. So, if you want to recover, you can recover files. And if you throw away your hard drive and you use a quick format, someone can take, if hard drive works, can take hard drive, uh, from the garbage and can restore your files, especially if you have confidential files, and that can be a little big problem for you. So, uh, every now and then, when you can, when you have time, uh, do not be lazy, <coughs> remove all files to another drive and format it fully, twice, 
twice, once, twice, and then return files back there, or just use it on on that drive, and uh, later on remove from this drive to another drive and uh, do. If you don't want to do that, okay, it's your 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 thing. But I wanted to show you to, to show you and to explain to you why you have to have more free space than occupied space. And basically, that's it. If you just remove files from one space to another, if you have partitions and you move remove files from one partition to another, let's as, a, as an example, you. You have one partition, second partition, this is just uh, imagining. And you remove all files from this partition to this partition. So it will be written on another side. You can format this side. You can return it and format this side. And that's the same way how you can uh, maintain uh, quality of a drive and uh, to, uh, to increase a life uh, of a hard drive, extendable life of a hard drive. So that's that's what I wanted to tell you. And thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something. And goodbye.